Hey guys, today we will be taking a look at the Brine Shrimp Ecosphere. The first update, the two week update. I am pleasantly surprised by how well this ecosphere is doing. The first thing you have probably noticed is that the glass of the jar is getting a little bit dirty. But that's actually a good thing, because those are algae you're seeing on the glass. It's great to have algae growing. Algae provide the brine shrimp with a source of oxygen and a source of food. Algae also process the waste of the brine shrimp. I can't really see if there's any algae growing on the rock, but the walls are definitely covered with algae. I wanted to show you some of the brine shrimp grazing on the glass, but of course, right as I started filming them, they stopped doing what they were doing. Classic. When the ecosphere was just a few days old, I saw a few baby brine shrimp swimming, which was of course really exciting. I also saw one couple of brown shrimp mating, which was also really exciting. Now, two weeks later, there are a lot of brown shrimp babies. Don't worry, the ecosphere won't explode. Most of these babies won't make it to adulthood. You might think that's cruel, but it's only natural. Two weeks after it was sealed, there are a few more couples of brown shrimp mating. Normally, when an organism is mating, that's a great sign that it's enjoying its surroundings and that conditions are right. With organisms such as brown shrimp, fairy shrimp, daphnia and triops, just to name a few, however, that's not quite the case because they will also lay cysts. What is a great sign, however, is that baby brine shrimp are being born. Like I said before, most of the baby brine shrimp won't grow to become adults. The one in the middle of the screen, however, is halfway there. Most won't even make it to this stage. In this individual, you can clearly see that it still has the two antennae used for swimming, like all other larvae. But it also developed the characteristic brine shrimp legs, with which it is trying to swim. It's very interesting to see such a transitional state. Here you see a lot of brown shrimp at an earlier larvae state. This one still hasn't figured out the swimming thing. And these two are casually photobombing whilst mating. But this is what I really wanted to show you. All those little balls on the surface of the water are brine shrimp eggs, cysts to be exact. At this point, if you haven't watched the first brine shrimp video yet, I highly encourage you to do so. I go into much further detail there. These cysts are the eggs that I put in the ecosphere myself. And well, they didn't hatch. Which is not that surprising. But it does mean that all the babies you are seeing hatched from their eggs very soon after being laid. Which is ideal, because it's exactly the situation I had planned. Again, this might sound a little cruel, but all the things floating in the water are parts of dead brine shrimp babies and adults, which is... Well, I don't know what it is. But here's what I actually wanted to show you. If you look closely, you can see that all the shrapnel is slowly moving in one direction. Interestingly enough, the brown shrimp are creating some sort of water current. From this angle you can see that there is indeed algae growing on the rock. A type of string algae in this case. The more types of algae I find in this jar, the happier I am. Well, I 
think it's only fair that I also show you some slow-mo footage of the brine shrimp larvae. Okay, so that is the update of the first two weeks that this closed ecosystem containing brine shrimp has been closed. I must say that I am really happy with how it's going so far. If you want to see more updates and other projects and you haven't already, well, you're going to have to subscribe. I am proud to announce that since a few days there is a Life in Josh Patreon and I am even more proud to announce that I have my first and so far only patron, and it's not even my mom. So I would like to thank Claudia Watrin for her generous support. If you feel the urge to support Life in Jars, there's some stuff you can get over on the Patreon page. Thanks for watching.